So we just got the uh, Samsung Series 5 here, we're in a live session, um, you're watching this uh, on YouTube, uh, so apologies for the quality, it's a, it's a capture from a, a live stream. We're just going to take the back off the Samsung Series 5 to see what we can see inside. We should be able to see the hard drive and the memory, and it's a one screw access, and I've never done this before, so let's see whether we can break it. Um, am I going to have to take off the... Or is it going to snap off? I think it's going to snap off. Here we go. Live breaking of the Samsung series. Oh, it's not easy to take off at all. Yes, it's it's. You can snap it off. Just run your thumb around it. I'm hoping that. There we go. Okay. So there you go. There is inside the Samsung series five. So behind here we have. Ah, oh, okay. So so there's four gig soldered on board here. Um. Oh, awesome! I've got a four gig here. I can just slot in. Is it four or two? Well, hey, let's just do it. Let's get uh, this is DDR three, I believe, or is it? I'm pretty sure it's DDR three. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to be doing upgrades tonight. Let's just push that in. Okay. There you go. So that's upgraded the memory. <laughs> this is the uh, the hard drive. Now it looks to me like that's a pretty low profile hard drive. Um, let's see if we can just pull that out. I think there's just two screws here. Um, got a feeling the device was in standby. Jeez, that's probably not the best best thing to do in standby, right? This is, could, could screw it up. Let me just make sure it's turned off. I might have just killed this live. Okay, good. Let's just turn this off so that we can uh, so we can just pull that um, hard drive out and see it. I think what did I say it was? I can't remember. I think it was Hitachi. I can't remember now. Dun dun dun. Okay, come on. Right, that is off in a few seconds. Right. So let's pop that memory module in there. Pimp it out. This is not going to be for me, this is for my wife. I probably won't leave that memory in there, will I? Let's face it. I don't think she needs more than four. So, it looks like four. Ah. Need a bigger screwdriver here. Come on, where's the right one? There we go. Right, let's just pop those four screws. Should be fairly easy to take this out. That should just come out probably with the connector as well. And then we'll just probably be able to pull it. Connector off. Okay. Uh huh. Not as easy as I thought, maybe. Okay, there you go. And that is a. There you go. So I think that's a seven mil hard drive. So that makes uh that makes choosing um an SSD slightly slightly harder. Um just looking to see if there's any space for anything more. Probably not. You could probably put a nine mil in there but it would bulge bulge out on that case. It's a Hitachi uh Hitachi drive. So anyway, easy to take out easy to put in and watch me brick a an ultrabook live here and I'll just pop that in, I just want to see if that uh, that memory module works, I think it's a 2 I'm not sure, it might even be a 4 gig memory module I have there so it should be up to 8 gigs of memory once we've got that up and running so quickly just pop these in and the fourth one there 
so um, for those of you that are watching on YouTube thinking about upgrading Ultrabooks there's not many of them that have these access ports so it's really nice that uh, Samsung have provided that and I don't think that's going to invalidate any warranty either so there we go that clicks across the bottom there nice and easily he says and then there's the one screw oops I forgot that tape put that back on in a minute Oh, come on. Oh, come on, let's boot it first. Do that later. So, let's see if we've got 6 or 8 gigs. Well, it's booting. That's a good sign. It's about 25 seconds to boot. Let's see what we've got. Let's see, is it 6 or 8? Did it work? I was surprised. I thought that was going to be a populated RAM slot, so that's really uh, nice to see. Right, and we have 8 gigs of RAM! Woohoo! Okay, so there's your 8 gigs of RAM. Excellent. So that was an easy upgrade. It's the Samsung Series 5 MP530U3B, bought in Europe. And that was a quick look at the uh, access port, the RAM and the hard drive. Thanks for watching.